Welcome back. I have a, a new idea for a video today. I am going to show, I guess since it's the new year, everybody's doing these uh, these new year videos. So for 2021, I guess I'm going to go ahead and just show a lot of guns um, and give a brief uh, explanation. Why do I own the gun? What's what's special about the gun? What What's the point of it? And I will start with the small guns, the carry guns. Please uh, subscribe if you're not a subscriber to the channel and you can see some oddball gun <laughs> stuff that I do. Anyways, so let's just start with the old 22. Everybody should have a good 22. I had a lousy, some lousy 22s, so I went and spent the extra to get this. Now, it's not just the shininess, but fully adjustable rear sight. Um, it, you know, it holds a good amount of rounds. Uh, so I, I definitely am a big fan of this gun. Um, nice 22. This is a Smith and Wesson and uh, I love it. I absolutely love it. So I won't be parting with this gun. Okay, but uh, that's not an, a carry gun, but we're going to go with some carry guns next. I carry this gun probably more than any in the summer, to be honest. This is the Taurus Ultralight uh, what is it? The U, U, uh, UL680 or 8 Let's see, 856, hard, hard for me to see it. But anyways, I'm sure you can figure it out if you go to the Taurus website. These come in different colors. I love the color combinations. Kind of wish I would have got the one of the blues, but whatever. It's a, it's a nice gun and I like carrying it in this in the summer. It may not be completely ideal, but it just makes it easy. And sometimes that's the most important thing because you know what, if it's too inconvenient, you're just not going to bother. Okay, let's be real. Got to be realistic about such things. I've got a burst of 380 plus, And this is a single action uh, or double action. And um, this is a double stack. I just like the way it looks. Uh, I might actually part with this one soon. Uh, somebody close to me would like to get their hands on it. So I may let them have it. Oh, let's go with the Ultra Mini. This is the kel P32. It's a 32 ACP, believe it or not. And this thing's trigger sucks. Look, some people will try to say otherwise, but man, let's just, let's be honest. It's a very oddball sight. And uh, it's got this um, double action only internal hammer, okay? And that's why the trigger sucks, because it's got to do all the work to pull this hammer back. And when it fires, the slide doesn't push the hammer back for the next shot. It's got a really cool um, holster came with it to just slide in your pocket and then I guess this thing bit on your belt loop in case somehow some way falls out. We don't want to we don't want to lose it. So there you go. This gun, God I love this gun. This is a Charter Arms 32 Magnum. And I like this gun because it shoots the 32 Magnum but it also shoots 32 long and 32 short. And what's really good about this gun is the low recoil for a beginning shooter to start off with a handgun. I mean, if you're not going to do 22, and sometimes I think it could be bad to do 22 long rifle because some people, they like it so much, okay, um, and they might get hooked on it and they might want to use that as a carry pistol. So I rather really start somebody off with something a little bit better because if you start them on 32 longs and they get comfortable with that, then they could use, you know, carry it, 32 magnums. That that's just going to be so much better. A 32 magnum in in the revolver is about about the when you look at the the grain weight and velocity, compare that on a chart with uh, grain weight and velocity of a 380. They're very similar. Okay, so very similar of uh, power very similar in power okay when you do the math on it i have here's another one of my favorite carries in the summer 41 magnum this is the mag pug by charter arms and the reason why i'm a big fan of this gun is because it is featherweight okay i mean who wouldn't carry a 44 magnum if it was featherweight but uh you know they probably can't make one that's featherweight i don't know let me know in the comments below if you've heard of a 44 Magnum that's featherweight that doesn't like blow up the cylinder and blow up the gun. But um, this is featherweight and uh, so like 
it's nothing to carry this. And this is barely heavier than the 38 Special, uh, but yet think of the punch, punch that this will pack. Morris 41 Magnums are going to be too heavy to conveniently carry. I'm not saying you can't. I'm just saying if you wanted something really lightweight where you can almost wear it, put it in your gym shorts pocket, this is going to pull down your gym shorts, but... I mean, it's close, okay? It's really close to where you could. You could carry it in your cargo pants uh, pocket or just your, your regular jacket pocket. It's not going to really weigh it down. It's just, this is a really lightweight. I like it. All right, enough about that one. Uh, okay, let's go with the, uh, the Colt Defender. Colt Defender 45 ACP. I wanted a Colt 1911. I really wanted one and I wanted one I could carry so I really like this gun love it um yeah and this is the one of 500 Halo edition uh red Cerakote come like this so um definitely keeping this baby around another one of my favorite carry guns the Rhino 30s model 30DS single action double action or well, yeah, single action, double action, right. Um, and it has adjustable rear sights. I love this gun. It's very accurate, very low recoil. It can take uh, moon clips, but you don't have to use moon clips. And um, it holds, you know, 357s or 38 special, whichever you want to use. Okay. Very nice gun. And yeah, you can fit this right in your front pocket and clip it in there if you wanted to and have a long shirt to cover it. So, loving that too. Okay, let's do one more revolver real quick before we move along. We got the 686, and you know what? I just can't decide on these grips. Yeah, they're cool, but, um, you know, this, this gun, I have a lot of mixed feelings about it. Sometimes I think about taking this optic off and going with, apparently I need to tighten it down. Uh, going back with the original on there uh but i wanted a revolver with, revolver with an optic that's the whole point here now this is a cool gun because it carries seven shots it's a 686 plus three inch um i don't know about having i've had different optics on it okay i like these optics because I can sit it in there for six months straight, pull it out, and I don't have to worry about, oh, no, I got a dead battery because this doesn't use a battery. Uh, but um, anyways, I just this this um, this grip is just not enough. And uh, But if you put more grip on it with the weight of this gun, it's just, it just doesn't seem like something you'll ever want to carry. So like I said, I got mixed feelings about it. It's not actually the sight that's the issue. It even fits in my holster nice. The, the issue I have with this gun is that this is not enough grip, the boot grip, I think they call that. And if I go with the next size up, then it'll make it so I don't want to carry it. Whatever, I'm just going to set this one aside. Now, this is my newest um, carry gun that I'm really enjoying. This is the P320 uh, in 357 SIG. It's double stacked. It's just a all-around kind of... I wanted a middle of the road, you know, not full size, not subcompact. This packs a punch. It's just all around really good gun. So I like this. Kind of like, um, I don't know, like I said, the perfect middle of the road, so to speak. But um, if we're going to speak middle of the roads, how about a, uh, a Glock 17? And this is a 9mm. And again, I love this optic. That's why you're going to see a bunch of them. I had some Vortex Venoms and I actually like this more, especially because I don't know, three or four times I ended up with uh, dead batteries on my Vortex Venom. Surprise, right when you're at the range, not really, especially if you just paid to get in. It's not really a time you want to find a dead battery when you were looking to like sight your stuff in. Bad, bad news, bad business there. All right, so 22 TCM. Uh, I like this because it's like, well, it, first off, it's a great gun because it's got the um, fully adjustable rear sight. But I like the 22 TCM because most powerful 22 handgun um, round, 22 caliber handgun round, um, more powerful than 
if you look into it, you'll find that to be the truth. And um, it's just cool, especially in 1911. All right, um, let's go with this big daddy. Now, if you got to compensate for something, this could help. 44 Magnum. Yeah, buddy. And uh, fully adjustable rear sight. You could put, I had a red dot on here for a minute, but I decided nah. And this is my my most powerful gun, I guess you could say. And it's going to have some velocity with that long barrel. That's the 9-inch barrel. I do like this gun, but it's a little much, especially if you go with high power rounds, which I've done before. It's exceptionally exceptional um kick on it so more than i more than i'm looking for uh let's look at the beretta now this is the 96 and it's a 357 sig so i'm totally digging it i absolutely love the beretta because i love the way the trigger feels believe it or not of all the reasons double action single action and i got some grips coming so don't judge it it's gonna be beautified soon enough. Okay, um, let's go with, here's uh, one of my newest additions, P320 9 millimeter. Man, I wish I wouldn't have waited so long to try out the 320s because they are, there is a lot to love here. This is just a real accurate gun. And when I say accurate, oh, all the guns are accurate. But let's just say uh, a, a Somebody who's not a professional shooter like myself. Somebody who's just, it's a hobby. I love going to the range. I love firing them off and trying to get those bullseyes. You can do pretty good with this, okay? Even though it's not even adjustable. It's just, it's a good gun. That's all I can tell you. It's a good gun. It feels good. It shoots good. It's just, it's nice. It's not my most accurate, but it's, it's pretty good. And speaking of accuracy, here's one that really shocked me. Uh... I don't know why I'm keeping it around, I guess. I bought this to put the grips on it, I guess. I thought the grips were going to fit on that Colt Defender I, I showed earlier. But they won't. Because the Colt Defender has its own size grips, in case you didn't know. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to have to get a perfect excuse, right? I have to buy another gun. So I didn't get me a 1911. I wanted a 45 ACP, but this is a 38 Super. <sighs> I really didn't want a 38 Super. But the price was good because you know these Rock Island Armories value guns. Very good for the price. I didn't expect it to be good though. I have had some bad experiences with Rock Island to be honest. But uh, this gun, here's my experience with this gun. The first time it was no fun. Then I took it home, cleaned it, oiled it and all this. Went back out and man, this thing was, it was accurate. It was fun to shoot. I can't complain. So I'm gonna, I guess I'm just not gonna throw her back. I'm gonna keep her. Plus, man, if I was a Scorpio, these Scorpion grips sure are beautifying the gun. But I'm not, but it's still cool. All right, so that's that's that gun for you. That's, that's the reason behind that one. Uh, let's see. Let's go with the most accurate gun in the house. All right, all these guns, I'm just gonna tell you, this is an EAA Witness uh, match, 9mm, single action only, bought it used, the deal I could not pass up. This is the most accurate gun of all my guns. Just, just is. That's, you know, take my word for it. Very heavy, um, very, very nice gun. The only thing is the detent on the safety is completely like wore out. It's the only, only drawback, really. Other than that, it's, it's really too heavy to want to carry. But I have a really good gun belt if you're going to carry that. Okay, so now, my beautiful Beretta. 9mm. And I just like the way it looks. I'm all about this. I was so excited to get my hands on the Inox. The, I thought it would... Um, be all metal but this bottom i don't know what this is plastic aluminum whatever i thought it was going to be stainless steel it is not because i was like oh i'm going to mirror shine this whole thing i'm going to spend the whole day mirror shining it yeah wrong <sighs> okay so that's that one now this baby oh my god this sig is a beaut 
I love this camo on it. This is my only 10 millimeter. This is a single action only, and it has a fully adjustable rear sight. I love this gun. I just can't get over it. It's cool. What do you think? We're almost done. Oh yeah. Now, time to get serious. Get down to business. This is the Glock 31, and this is in my favorite round, 357 SIG again. Here we go. Uh, I'll tell you, of all these handguns, I can shoot the most accurate furthest, well, because I got this cheater. Outside of that, I don't know. I just wanted a 357 SIG. Something that shoots 357 SIG, so I got this Glock. I'm not really the biggest fan of Glocks. I almost consider parting with these, but I don't know. Keep them for a while longer, I guess. Uh, apparently, they're the most reliable. That's what everybody claims. So, I don't know how much truth there is to that, but I haven't had any issues. So, there is that. And then, everybody's got to have one of these, or you're not really an enthusiast. I'm just, I'm calling you out, okay? If you ain't got one, just not, I don't believe you, okay? We got... We got the, uh, the Taurus Judge. Sorry, I'm uh, having some technical issues here. Okay, the Taurus Judge. You ought to know the scoop on that. I got the, I got the long barrel. Pleases the ladies. And I put a little shine on it. It's not a bad gun. If you don't feel like it's a complete and total gimmick, that is. <clears throat> okay, and then for my final showpiece because everybody should have at least one pimp gun. I've got the 60s, and your eyes are not deceiving you. This is gold Rhino 60s series with that fully adjustable rear sight, and this is chambered in 357 Magnum, 38 Special, whichever you prefer, and you can, but do not have to, use moon clips if that's what you choose. And these aftermarket grips are off the charts. Loving them. What do you think? What is the best of all these guns? Well, which ones do you own? And which one do you think is the best that I have? Let me know down below. And uh, what gun am I missing in this collection? What, what do I need to go out and buy? And let's not talk long guns. I can make a whole other video on that. But these are... This is pretty much it, my collection of handguns. And I'm just curious, what do you, what do you think I'm missing? And uh, what is your favorite one out of, out of this bunch here? What do you think? What, what are, and which ones do you own of uh, that, I, that I have? Which ones do you have that I have? And uh, thanks for watching the, what do we want to call this? The 2021 Happy New Year's, everyone, collection. Uh, the 2021 collection, handgun collection. All right. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks a lot. Have a great one.